गुड आफ्टरनून मैम विजल एंड स्वस्तिका प्लीज ऑन योर वीडियो विजल एंड स्वस्तिका स्वस्तिका प्लीज ऑन वीडियो नमस्ते मैम नमस्ते हाउ आर यू ऑल ऑफ यू फाइन मैम हाउ आर यू मैम आई एम ऑल्सो फाइन एस्टरडे वी मेट यस एंड एस्टरडे वी टॉक अबाउट बायोग्राफी अबाउट इंग्लिश टुडे वी आर हियर टू डिस्कस ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ ओबीटी ओके नाउ now we are going to study obt vocation so if you have got book in all of you just take your obt book i think almost all going gone to your take book here ma'am if we don't have book then i have to buy book i buy but i don't have obt i think i think Then you buy book also. Then you what? You miss OBD book or you left that OBD book? Don't you need that book? We need. It's lost in my office. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, wait. Just one minute. Lost in there. Anyway, it's okay. So today we are going to talk about your OBD. So our first chapter is here given medium and higher level profession. Yes. Okay. At first, uh, before starting the topic, I want to ask something here. Uh, at first, like Krishal, what do you mean by profession? Profession is the kind of job which need special training and knowledge to involve in it. Yes. Good. Thank you, Krishal. So just now, Krishal told, profession is the occupation you can say occupation or job or any activity you involve there which need special uh, knowledge. education training or skill you need to perform that job then that is known as a profession last time we discussed in the class 6 7 we are talking about profession and occupation both but in profession and occupation there is a there is slightly differences between the uh, between these two words yes in occupation occupation means you do any type of job just to earn money to earn your livelihood you do any type of job that is a occupation but profession means you need a special type of training there you need education skill training that is a profession okay now sunishit i think you got your book yes sunishit are you there yes ma'am i am here okay have you got book or it lost ma'am Okay, thank you. Then, okay, so Miss, now uh, tell tell me yes. about something about profession. Yes, ma'am. Tell me something about profession. What is profession? Uh, what are its importance? Importance of profession. Yes, importance of profession. Hmm. So Miss, don't waste time. Ma'am, wait. Okay, I will think. Oh. Ma'am, Miss, oh, okay. today. Okay, get us sitting. I'll ask you another one. Okay. Okay, uh, Kavya. What are the importance of profession? Yes, ma'am. What are the importance of profession? Uh, professions help us to earn money. Mm, yes. They also help us to know about different subjects. Mm, different field. Yes. We can also develop our skills. Yes, that also good. And this much. Okay, thank you, thank you, Kavya. Okay, so this is have you thought or still you are thinking? Already, Kavya told some point here. Now, can you continue or again you will keep on thinking? So this is are they listening or not? Any so this is from gone somewhere here. Okay, okay, Nirvik, tell something about profession. Uh, profession are, are uh, occupation that people follow in order to earn their living. People gain various uh, knowledge, skill, and training in order to involve in various profession. It enhances uh, education and. Uh, yes, I am not asking to read book. I am just asking uh, you to say something about profession. What do you mean by profession? Profession means ah uh, the. Profession means, ah, uh, in order to earn our living wood, ah, uh, from which we get different kind of training, training knowledge, etc. 
you can say profit is uh, any type of activity or work you do to earn money if you say like that and that is that becomes the occupation or profession understood that means yes. profession means a type of occupation where you need a special type of knowledge education training and training you, yes you need that one to perform that job that work that is a profession Profession. Okay, now tell me the importance of profession then. Uh, with the help of profession, we can uh, earn our uh, money. On money, uh, on money, we can get knowledge, skill, uh, skill training, uh, etc. Okay, good. So profession, profession. Just my definition is that one. So importance means almost all know that one. It is done for to earn. A livelihood to earn money the next thing uh, because of that profession we can uh, get respect from the society we can increase uh, our skill knowledge and training as well the next thing is that because of profession we can utilize the manpower yes we can utilize manpower even we can utilize the local resources of our country so these are some of the importance of profession so today we are going to talk about the medium and higher level profession what is medium level and what is higher level and what is basic level profession okay at first year okay this is our unit first this is about the professional education our lesson, lesson first is medium and higher level profession okay here are given uh, some things about the profession so any type of work that needs special training or a particular skill or education is a professor just now we discussed that you know everyone know that there is no doubt the next one various sectors of profession like medicine agriculture tourism education public service all these are the we can see the very different type of profession where you can involve where you can do that you can do that job medicine means like and say health assistants nurse staff nurse doctor that is the medicine one agriculture means there you can say jta and then after that agriculture what then uh, master there is then tourism means you know that no hotel one then after guide that is a tourism one then education means now teacher that is education ministry then public Public service means social service. Like you can say that you can say simply in a government job, section officer. That is the public service. Okay, given profession can be classified into various categories on the basis of level. Profession are divided into three categories. One is basic level, one is medium level, and one is higher level profession. Okay, of course, we can we can see here basic level profession. Okay, the profession that is carried out to fulfill the basic needs. That means here you the the profession. Yes, you don't have uh, any type of education. Just have education, but not enough education. You have and no training, no skill. Then you can join such type of. Uh, profession is yes, just to earn the money, just to earn a livelihood. You do different type of activity that, that is known as a basic level profession, where you don't, uh, you need only the general knowledge and skill only. You, do, you don't need a higher level one education, skill and training. This is the basic one. You can say the farming, plumbing, carpentry. These are the, some of the form of basic level okay okay we are talking about here now okay, we are going to continue we are talking about the basic level profession that means uh, like occupation you join this uh, profession or occupation just to earn money just to earn your livelihood here you don't need a higher level one education nor skill nor training like and say simple one farming carpentry plumber it, this is a basic level one profession where you don't need a hard you can just buy a simple training you can do such type of work this is about the 
basic level. So next one is here given medium level profession. Now what is medium level then? Anyone can guess medium level? Okay, Sandes, I think you know answer. Okay, say something about medium level profession. A medium level profession is a profession yeah. which can be carried out by. Sandes, once, once, once. Uh, I think you have got book, yes? You have book, yes. Okay, once read out that one. What is written in the book? Medium level profession refers to the profession that can be carried out with the help of extra knowledge, skill, and vocational training. In this level, people need special training with certain academic qualification. Professionals of this level may be technical or non technical. For example, medium level profession, professionals of technical sector are health assistant, staff nurse, overseer, computer operator, etc. Similarly, Gazetted, gazetted and non gazetted officers in public administration are not non technical medium level professionals. The nature of their work is called medium level. Okay, now what do you understand? And you just read out this one now, you get some idea from here. Yes, okay, what do you learn from here? Medium level profession is a profession which okay. needs some knowledge to be carried out. Yes. yes. Then, and uh, there are technical and non technical professionals that are yes, okay. Thank you, Sandes. So, likewise, uh, middle level profession means such type of profession which need uh, a, somehow you need a training, you need uh, skill, and you need education in the uh, with a comparison than to the basic level profession. In basic level, you just need a little bit, yes, but here. More than basic level, you need training, education, and skill. That means uh, you will be more responsible than the basic level one profession. In basic level profession, uh, you will get only less responsibility, but in medium level, you will get a little bit high level responsibility. So, again, you can say that uh, just now, an example, you can say uh, as, uh, health assistant, staff nurse, yes. These are the technical line one medium level professions. These are the medium level professions. And you can say in public sort of like gadgeted and non gadgeted means in, in Nepal, what you say is to buy a service solution that NASU exam is. That is the medium level profession. So now, last one is given here higher level profession. Now, higher level means you easily understand now what that means. Higher level means you need higher level of education, higher level of training, and uh, you are very much responsible on that profession, responsible person of that profession, and you have to take a uh, decision. Yes, in a very critical situation, you have to take a very important decision. You are a very responsible person to that level, that type of profession is known as a higher level profession. Yes. Okay. Luniba, have you got book? Luniba, have no. Okay. So okay. No. Okay. Price, have you got book? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Once read out higher level profession. Higher level profession refers to the top level profession that requires higher education, skill, ability, and special in-depth training. The professionals of this level require special knowledge and ability to do difficult work even in the adverse situation. Such professionals can take decisions and solve higher level problems in critical situations. Both technical and non-technical professionals come under the higher level profession. Technical higher level professionals are engineer, doctor, pilot, researcher, etc. Similarly, the non-technical higher level professionals are section officer, secretary of ministry, head of administration, manager, etc. The nature of work of these professionals is called higher level profession. Thank you, guys. Okay, just now uh, we discussed here the higher level means where you need a top level one education, training, skill, and you need any type of knowledge in very deep. Yes, you have very clear meaning about that training, that education, then that is needed in a higher level profession. And you are a very responsible person on that level. You have to take the very uh, important decision in a critical 
situation so this type of level is a higher level profession that means we can say doctor pilot engineer that is the higher level one profession in a technical line if you say non technical then you can say uh, okay section officer education ministry manager bank manager yes that are the non that is are the non technical one high level profession so this today here we are discuss about the three one basic level profession higher level medium level profession and higher level profession as well as what is profession and what are the importance of profession is about the first chapter again now okay at first so got okay say something about the basic level profession and those profession that we do to earn our base to fulfill our basic need are called basic level profession in this profession we do not need uh, more knowledge or skill and um, in this um, and some of the basic level profession are farming uh, poultry farming uh, etc and mm -hmm. um, some uh, importance of this profession are um, we can utilize our time we can uh, on so, uh, we can uh, generate income to uh, live livelihood and um, we can uh, uplift the life standard thank you okay thank you so much okay next year kajal kajal are you listening me yes yes ma'am okay kajal define profession yes what is profession and give examples also ma'am profession means um, any type of uh, work that needs special training or uh, skill or vocational or education and uh, there are various sectors of profession like medical agriculture education tourism etc yes good thank you kajal okay now next year mm, okay yojana higher level profession needs uh, you can say deep knowledge higher level education yes why why yes. do you think so because mm, because it has import because it has uh, because that profession, profession is very important is important then and you will get higher, yes you will get higher responsibility there yes you have to take a uh, decision there so uh, you need skill knowledge and education higher one education understood okay uh, so let's see so let's see what are you doing there you are doing here and there what's happened any problem i don't think you are attending the class also ma'am i am so i found my book just now now you are sorting book then later also on you can find your book and sort the book then then what mm -hmm. thing you listen to okay just now use na tell something here what you have listened have listened or not yes ma'am some some okay then what have you listened then tell that one revise that and only reflection Mm, uh, say the question. I will tell. That is question you have understood. So nice. Okay. I Again, I. Okay, it's okay. I am going to revise the question here. So higher level profession needs higher level education, uh, skill training. Why? Why do you think so? Higher level profession need the higher. Remember what was question? Higher level, level profession. Yes, higher level profession needs higher level of education, training, and skills. Why? Explain this statement. Higher level of profession need higher higher level of education because they have uh, much importance than the other level of profession. Uh, they need the special training and skill. Why? They need special training. Why? They need special training because. No, they have more importance than the medium level profession and basic level profession. They have more responsibility than other level profession. Yes, good to know. Sir, okay, next. Okay, now Abusan, tell me something about uh, medium level profession. Medium level profession. Think about medium level profession. Ma'am, sound is lagging. Your sound or my sound? Your sound. Okay, again. Something. Tell me something about medium level profession. 
मीडियम लेवल यस मीडियम लेवल आई मीन मीडियम लेवल प्रोफेशन इज द प्रोफेशन मैम आई डोंट नो आर यू अटेंडिंग द क्लास यस देन आर यू लिसनिंग टू मी नो मैम यस मैम व्हाट आर यू डूइंग देन इफ यू आर नॉट लिसनिंग देन मैम समवन इज डिस्टर्बिंग यू देन नो मैम आई थिंक यू आर प्लेइंग देन and uh, okay anyway i can now karun karun are you listening yes. okay yes, say ma'am. something about uh, medium level profession the the profession which need extra knowledge skill and vocational training is called medium level profession some of its examples are are mm. are computer computer operator mm. then computer operator yes Okay. Anyway, good. But you are reading from book, I think. Anyway, now Niharika. Okay, last one. You are given higher level profession. What do you mean by higher level profession? Ma'am, the uh, the profession refers to the top level profession. It's called higher level profession. Hmm. Uh, then only that much. Example. Ma'am, example. Officer, secretary, and. A manager, administrator, administrator. Okay, thank you, Niharika. So this is about the categories of profession according to the level, basic level, medium level, and higher level. So according to the level, you need a education, higher education, higher training, higher skill as well because. Uh, if the the level is increased, then obviously your responsibility. is also in case you are you have to be much we have to be much more responsible in our work that's why we need a special type of training and higher education so in this chapter i any doubt there any confusion any confusion anyone any confusion in this chapter in this uh, medium level and higher level profession okay now your second chapter just now we just uh, see this one was here professions and human resource resources related to medical sector medical science okay tell me some uh, profession is yes, related to medical science anyone uh, okay rohan tell me some profession related to medical science rohan are you listening or not yes miss okay tell me some profession is yes, that is related with the medical sector Yeah, medical sector one profession. Mm-hmm. I think there is no problem. Um, uh, okay, I'm not listening. Thank you, Rohan. Okay, Supreme. Supreme. Yes. Are you listening? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Tell me some profession related to medical science, medical sector. nurse doctor yes nurse doctor then after and then L- assistant yes pharm yes. pharmacist pharmacist yes pharmacist medical doctor nurse health assistant then these are the the profession related to the medical sector so one thing i have to say is that uh after reading one the, after reading a chapter you can do the exercise of the chapter okay and whenever school uh, open then i'll check all those chapters and it's better if you make a note also it will it will make you easy for the exam as well understood so uh, every time i don't need to say that do exercise do exercise i won't say but by uh, finishing one exercise it's better if you do that exercise understood yes, everyone yes yes ma'am if you do then it's very good but i know here some half of the students will not do that one and next thing mm-hmm. is that mm-hmm. next thing is that in english also i um, haven't got the some half of the students i haven't got homework what's the problem there i have done ma'am but you have submitted Yes. 
sometimes only you submit, but most of the time you don't. And next, I was not also. Yeah. Sometimes only you the submit, last time but one. you also only submit. So sometimes you submit homework, and mostly you don't. This time you submit. Yes. Yes, ma'am. But most of the time you don't. Why? I don't know. I don't know. Who we'll know that one then? So, uh, like in English, this also in OBT also you have to do the exercise. After finishing one uh, exercise, just complete that exercise. Just do that exercise. Okay, it will make you easy in the exam. But now you are uh, attending the online class. Teacher will not check by thinking that you are being careless in order to do homework. Yes, I find most of the students are doing the same thing. And Aditya, you are in the class today. I am seeing you today. Last time also you were in the class. Aditya. Yes, sir. Last time also you were in the class. No, just within three or four days when I was in the class. Then. Just three or four days. Why then? Ma'am. That means yesterday you were. Yes. Okay, thanks. Yes, yes, what happened? No, my little brother was using his account to my phone, so I I didn't got the message, so I couldn't do this. Oh, oh, oh. Then as soon as you join the class, that means you have done homework of OBT uh, English. Have you done? Why? No, I got banana sandwich. Okay, so I made your homework at the and I will okay. stop playing there. Stop playing. Okay, our next chapter is lesson two. That is a profession and human resources related to the medical science that's my medical science you can say pharmacy pharmacies doctor nurse health assistants these are the human resources or the profession related to the medical science now what do you mean by medical science at first then okay sudip say something about medical science what do you mean medical sudip are you listening yes ma'am okay say something what do you mean medical sector medical science means what can you please repeat the question? Say something about medical science, medical sector. Oh, medical? Yes, medical. Okay, yeah. now leave it. Thank you. So, yeah. our time is almost finished. So, we will discuss this one in the next uh, class. And for today, I want to say bye bye. And please uh, do this exercise of chapter one. Everyone doing copy. Next time I will ask them. In next class I will ask. Okay, ma'am. Is it okay or not? Ma'am, I don't have book. Don't you have book? But here almost all have book. I think here. So please, uh, I beg that do homework of do homework of every subject regularly. Okay. Okay, ma'am. But I don't have book. Today, only one book or all book? Don't you have them? Ma'am, no. No one Peter's book. Okay, no you can share with your friends. Okay. okay, no problem. So, no, now, what to do? do? Yes. Ask your father. Okay, ma'am. Okay, for today, I want to say bye-bye.